Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So we're back here in the garage and I am going to do a product unboxing and initial use. A while ago, I had the opportunity to buy the Woodpecker's saw gauge on sale. Saved me a few dollars. It's something that I've been eyeing up for quite some time and I had the opportunity to get it. So I am going to unbox the uh, gauge uh, open it up, show you all the piece parts, and then move over to the table saw and give it an initial use. And then I'll wrap up the video with my thoughts on it, whether or not it's worth it, what its value is, and how well it worked. All right, so let's cut over to the opening video. All right, so let's open this up. Let's see what happens. Can't wait for my maker knife to show up. Just saying. Ooh. That's nice. Catalog. Another invoice. Here we have the saw gauge. Let's open it up. All right, so we have the owner's manual. <laughs> Similar to other Woodpecker's products, the owner's manual is a piece of paper. That's okay. It's got some little bit of instructions, but it's really quite self-explanatory. So let's see if we can get a shot of this without anything falling out. So we have the uh, dial indicator here. Uh, these two little metal, I don't know what to call them, a little round thingies that uh, you put in the miter slot and then the bar that you set in them. And then you sit this on top of that, I believe. Yes, yes you do. So you adjust this on top of that, and this right here uh, sits on these little things, and then you can do your adjustment. So let's, that's interesting, that turns a little. That's intentional. All right, so we will <laughs> pull the little protective coating off somehow. <laughs> really don't know how they got that on there. We might have to actually take this apart to get that off. That's really odd. I mean, I can pull it apart, but I don't know if you can see this here. It's got a little piece of plastic there. So they obviously put the plastic on first and screw this together, but Dial indicator here. It's got good action. You can zero it. Or you can actually turn this little knob right here. I think you can turn it. Oh, maybe you can't turn it. Alright, so we just zero it. Just by turning it like that. Alright, it's a nice case. So look, won't use this very often. Uh, maybe once or twice a year, but I do think for me it was worth the investment. I do have a dowel gauge. I found it nearly impossible to use it on the table saw. So that's the thing over there. All right, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take it over to the table saw. We're gonna set it up. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a twirl, see how it works. All right, uh, let me uh, fold this in half. Kind of just put that right there. All right. Cut it over. Okay, we're gonna start uh, with the gauge on the front of the saw. Now it says in the manual here to have this plunger about halfway in the middle, which is you know roughly where it is right now, and then zero it out, which we are going to attempt to do. So okay, we zeroed it right there. That's pretty close to zero. 
Okay, and then we've marked the tooth right here, and we are going to slide the entire thing to the back, keeping an eye on our tooth, and try to line it up right around the same place. And say that the reading is, what is that, three and a half thou? Three and a half thou. All right, let's move it back to the front. Where's my magic tooth? There's my magic tooth, right about there. Okay, I'm gonna hold this down. So still zero, that's good. Still zero on the front, that's good. So let's move it back. My magic tooth is right about there. And we're reading 3,000. So it looks like, in this case, that the saw blade is tilted out a little bit, three thousandths of an inch. If I remember properly, I think that's okay because that will allow uh, reduce the probability of kickback maybe and I'm not sure that in my example it would be possible to even get 3,000 of alignment out of this tool out of the saw because of the way that it's adjusted it's actually very difficult to adjust it uh, you got to loosen some bolts and move the entire mechanism underneath the saw and then when, the problem is when you tighten the bolts down then it has a tendency to move and getting three thousandths of tolerance out is really not going to be worth it but at uh, some point in the future, maybe I will try. All right, so let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Okay, well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We started by unboxing it. Uh, we put it together. We ran it through its paces. And I'm just going to do a quick summary of what I feel is the value. So now, I did get it on sale. I saved about $20. I believe the normal price is $89.99 US. I got it for $69.99, which is still quite a lot of money. So is it worth it in terms of the cost versus the value? Well, you know, it's a tool that you won't use very often, but it is a purpose-built tool. Sometimes you just want tools that help a particular task go faster and more accurately and just make life better. There are many circumstances where special built tools are required or just make things better. In this case, I think this is one of them. Uh, there are certainly lots of different ways you can do this. I've done the exact same thing using the T-square uh, behind me here, um, and it works. It worked well. Uh, this tool just works better. So, is it worth it? That's a matter of opinion for you. Uh, for me, I think it's worth it. Again, I'm not going to use the tool very often, maybe once or twice a year. But when I do need it, it allows me to do the job quickly and accurately and just get on with my life. Again, the value judgment is yours, whether or not you think it is worth it. Um, I happen to think that it is worth it for me. All right, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for getting this far. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. If you wanna follow along during my daily progress, please follow me on Instagram, it'll be linked below. Don't forget to be inspired. Uh, there's many certs, uh, many circumstances. <clears throat> okay, well, that's the <coughs> shit. Well, okay, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed that. Rocks. Stop eating the sawdust inside. <laughs>